but I would say five seconds or auto or immediately is probably the top two in terms of what is making your phone secure. Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about all the different screen lock types that's on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. I'm gonna give you all the different differentiators between all these different types, along with the benefits of each and every one of these so we can figure out which one is the best screen lock type for you. And also we will go through the different secure lock settings, which is some of the settings that goes along with the lock screen. Now, first off, what was the steps I just took to go over inside of those settings to set up a lock screen? So you wanna pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and you're gonna look down where it says the lock screen and security. Now it takes you right over into the screen where I just was. And you can see here that mine is set up for pin, intelligence scan, as well as fingerprints. So yes, you are able to set up more than one and also more than two different ways of getting in your phone. And you'll see what the benefits is of this in a little bit. So for the sake of this video, I set up a one of the worst passwords you'd be able to use for a pin for your device, which is one, two, three, four. So just as a little heads up, if you are using pin, try to use maybe a little bit more than four numbers. You can make it a little bit more higher security if you were using six numbers, but make sure that they're definitely not in order. So to start this video off, let's talk about none. Now, first off, if you do have your phone set up as none, this is something I highly suggest not doing because what'll happen is that if you hit your power button or you press and hold on that home button when the screen is basically turned off it automatically goes inside of the phone where you are able to accidentally hit on different applications your camera you can call people open whatever and, and stuff is just happening in your pocket or your purse and you're wondering what is going on with your device it's pocket dialing people it could be because you have absolutely no type of lock screen on now if you want to have nothing that is going on with no security but there's a little bit of a screen before you get into your phone then you can use an option as swap wipe. Now right here, what's going on, you can see a pop-up mentioning that I have biometrics that is turned on, which right now I do have intelligence scan as well as fingerprints. Now intelligence scan is using face recognition along with iris and I also have my fingerprint set up. So what'll happen is if I choose the option of swipe, it will actually delete all of my biometrics off the device. So if you found yourself where you just want to use swipe for maybe a couple hours or maybe a weekend, um, and then you notice that all your biometrics of your face and your iris scanning is all gone. Nobody stole it. Nobody took it. Um, it just got deleted when you switched it to swipe. So this one is really for somebody who does not care about security. They don't care if anybody gets into the phone, but you care a little bit that you don't pocket dial anything or open up applications and you just want to have a simple swipe. Now the next one is going to be pattern. So this one is a medium security. This is the one where you can put in a pattern, even if you have set up, you know, iris and things like that. Um, it's a way to get into your phone if maybe you're wearing sunglasses and your iris is not being read or maybe at your pool and you have fingerprints set up but you your finger is all wet and and pruney then it's a way that that's the uh, opposite way of getting in your phone is through the pattern now so now I'm more of a pin guy this one is a medium to high security and you can make this thing as high as security as 16 digits so if you're going through and you wanted to hit all these different numbers here um, this is the maximum digits you're able to use is 16 now I would definitely not do those numbers because they're were basically numerical um, and this is the worst one you'd be able to do right now which is one two three four but that is how you'd be able to set up a pin and then anytime that you want to make a change to any of your lock screen types that is the number that you do want to remember now again if you want to hire heighten your security you can use six or eight different numbers that's probably what I would suggest and make sure again that it's not your birth date or anything like that but it's a way that you'd be able to make this make this thing high security now the highest security outside of all of these will be password because when it comes down to password, you're also able to use your letter. So you're able to do alpha numerical type of passwords. And so then this way, that is why this one is a high security that you'd be able to use on your phone. Now, if you wanted to use something even higher security than a password, this is where you can use your biometrics. And so with biometrics, you have an option for the intelligence scan, the face, iris, and fingerprints. Now, the ones that I would suggest is going to be intelligence scan. Now, instead of going over into the lock screen type to set up your intelligence scan, you can actually just go right over here into biometrics and you can click on that intelligent scan. And if you had a password or something that was turned on, now this is where you can either remove the data or you can add in a new face as well as iris. Now,
now because mine is already set up i would have to remove mine first and then reset it back up now i love intelligent scan because it's extremely fast it's accurate and it's has a lot of high security because it's using your iris and facial recognition at the same time to unlock your device now you have a couple different options down here which is going to be the intelligent scan unlock so what this does right here is it unlocks your phone using combined face and iris scanning which is just super cool and easy and then right below that will be the screen on intelligent scan and what this one does is that the moment that your screen is on so the moment you hit your power button it's going to automatically start scanning for your face and iris so you might as well just keep both of these ones turned on and so that is pretty much how i have mine set up between the pin intelligent scan as well as fingerprints now if we go through it just one more time on the very top before we go over into the settings um, do not choose the option of none swipe is for if you don't really need security at all but i suggest at least a little something pattern is kind of fun to do um, pin is probably where it's at um, other than that you do have your password which is the highest security so a lot of times if you have a business type of phone they almost suggest or only allow you to have a password so that sometimes is your only option but other than that if you have the galaxy s9 s9 plus use the option of intelligent scan use what is the latest and greatest technologies of unlocking and using security security on your device. Okay, so now we're gonna head over into that secure lock settings. Now, what'll happen and what you're gonna see here is that you have four different options, four different categories you're able to play with. The first one on the very top is what's gonna happen when it locks automatically. So if you want it to lock automatically, immediately, it's able to do that immediately the moment your screen turns off. So if I'm just looking at my phone and if my display turn off settings is at two minutes, after two minutes when this thing turns off, I have within five seconds of getting back into my phone without having to use any of my security lock settings. Now, if you want it to be immediately, you'd be able to do it immediately. Let's say maybe you're one of those people who always looks at your phone and then it times out, but then you wanna get right back into it, then maybe you wanna put it over to minute. But I would say five seconds or, auto, or immediately is probably the top two in terms of what is making your phone secure. Now the lock instantly with power key, this one is pretty self-explanatory. The moment that I hit on my power key and I try to get back into my phone, it's locked right back up. So that's the difference between this one on the very top. This is where your screen time um, turns off. This one is if you hit your power key. And then you also have this option here, which is a auto factory reset. So if you know for a fact that you know your password, you're not gonna forget it, and you're also not going to input it um, 15 times incorrect, then you'd be able to turn this one on because what'll happen is if the auto factory reset is turned on and if you put in your password incorrect 15 times, it will automatically factory data reset. So that's up to you if you want this one to be turned on. And then you also have the lock network and security. So pretty much this right here was all the different stuff I wanna talk about in this video today, which is all the different screen lock types along with the settings. So make sure you stick tuned because in a little bit, I'm going to upload another video that's going to unlock another way of using a different screen lock type that is hidden inside of the device and it's actually one of the coolest ways you'd be able to unlock your phone so i hope that you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up also don't forget to hit on subscribe you can hit that subscribe button right over here if you liked and appreciated or at least learned one new thing about this phone outside of that share this video with your friends and family and social media sites and i'll see you guys later